here comes the media player in the application the media in android how we can develop a particular media player application where we will be able to play the song so when i go inside it i can simply come over android media player it's a easier way if you just want to play an audio file in the background these these are the things which comes into picture like uh, at the same time suppose in my activity what i want is i am i have developed an application mm okay i just got a uh, suggestion from nikita if we do the casting can that be a result uh, no nikita actually it's not a programming error we are facing over there it's a error which is uh, which is saying that this cannot be resolved to a type this error is actually not an error but it is coming here because of problem from some eclipse site because that's why we did the refreshing and cleaning but it didn't went off so that that's why it is somewhat of that thing and it is not also showing you an option so if generally what happens if if, uh, if an error is coming up of populating you will get a kind of suggestion from the eclipse site from the ide itself by which you will be able to fix it so that that something from the eclipse site which is wrong okay coming back to our slide media player class can be used to control a playback of audio or video file so it's basically a, a kind of thing where i will be able to use it what is a use case you can say that if i have developed a message application you are going through messages and suddenly it's like when you start the message activity you want to also play the song in the background the same can be done with the help of this you can start away a song uh, with the help of a media player class which will be able to play the song and uh, you can keep the song within your project there is a raw folder which i explained earlier also which can be used to put the song inside uh, it and then whenever you realize whenever you need to use it you can use it right away there is a method called as mp.start which can be used to start the song and to play it i just show it to you i have an example now let's see its xml file i've already taken two buttons one is to play the song and second is to stop it and uh, i have taken a single activity also i have also taken a song which i have kept inside my raw folder so i have a, a song inside my raw folder which i will be able to play in my audio file okay so everything is available with me in the code line what i have done is at the starting i have created a object of media player class which i will be using to put the song name inside it and put the other factors and i have a boolean status button which will be used to maintain the status <clears throat> whether it is false or true or song is playing or not i have two buttons play and stop i have defined their ids respectively i have put set on click listener on both of them so that one can play one can stop in the click method i have accessed the id of particular button and based on accessing their id like r dot id dot button play i am playing the song so what i am doing here is if the status of the song is in a stop state that's what i am checking here so if the status is true that means boolean is true it should stop the song and it should status should become false and is status is by default we are making it as true for the first time that if you see when you click the play button a status will become true okay now below to that what i am doing here is in the media player object i am putting some part into it that is media player dot create is a method which will allow you to put two things that first parameter is the context which we have also used in our earlier example the second parameter is int rsi id this particular id is referring to our class our class has the specific reference number for this song let me display you that particular our class this our class if you see it has a raw as a inner class this is the raw which is your folder here it is representing it as a inner class and inside this inner class i have the song name with their unique reference id now this particular variable i am trying to access in my java file here 
that is r dot raw dot song this and then I am starting my particular media player application. Now after that in the stop button r dot i dot y I am simply stopping it. So here I do not need to check. Now suppose I have stopped the song and then I have again come on button play and I have tried to play the song. It will see that if the status is true or not. If it is already true it will stop the song and again will play it. Otherwise what will happen if I don't write this part of code that is if then what will happen every time when I will click the song it will keep playing those number of songs. When I play once I click it will create first object and that will start playing the song. Once I click second it will create second and it will start playing the song. So at the same time same song 10 to 9 numbers will be get played. So to avoid that situation we are using a if condition to make sure that if a song is playing let us first stop it and then again restart it from the initial. Now let us run this example and see how does it work. So far, if you have any questions, please do ask. As there is already a song inside this particular application, sometimes it might take a couple of minutes even to launch the application because as you have loaded the song inside the application, the APK file becomes a little heavier and the file has to get loaded inside this emulator to run the application. If we come back to our PBD file and if we see that this is where you have to put your songs inside the raw folder. Generally there are no raw folders. If you do not find Yes, this response very slow. Correct, <laughs> I can understand. Uh, the problem is with the emulator. Actually, emulators runs a little slow, quite slow. I mean, if like, uh, and when such, yes, even without MP3s, uh, generally it should not happen, but it happens because a lot of sometimes uh, particular machine faces a lot of loads because of other process. That's why it responds a little late. Oh my god, it takes five minutes. Five minutes is quite a lot. How much is your RAM uh, size, Nikita? Uh, I3 is good, but I mean, then then should not be doing like that. Uh, Sometimes it happens, but with the emulator, maybe down the line, if you if you face that these problems, you can. Uh, actually close that particular AVD and then you can create a new one if that doesn't work I mean very much with this okay by the way our song uh, where the particular application has launched and then let's if I play it okay can you hear the song if I stop it it will stop I can play it again. I can again stop it. I can start it and then again I can stop it or if I again play the same and I can stop it. Can you hear this uh, sound? I do not, I am not very sure with that but it, it works this way. Okay, cool. <laughs> the sound, sound is a little low, but obviously you can hear that. That's the best part. Good. Uh, are you all clear so far with this explanation? Are you all clear with this part? Can you please acknowledge everyone? Uh, are you all clear so far with this explanation? of media player how you have able to how you were able to actually you know start it and then play it
Okay, so far if you have any questions, please do ask. I've just imported another project which will illustrate you the example of video player inside this. Nikita, Mitali, Ashish, if you have any questions, please do ask. Okay, now let's do one thing. Let's see our layout file. Here if you can see we have done with media players. Now let's come to the video player. Video player is a particular player which will give you entire thing, video controls and everything using a media controller uh, class which allows you, which gives you automatic controls like a start, play, pause, etc, etc. Now video player is generally used to play video, different video formats in Android. Uh, the formats which we Android supports for video player are like MP4, 3GPP, etc, etc. It does not support MOV, it does not support WMV, it supports majorly MP4 and your 3GPP. The video player is also like same video view is a class which you need to use in Android and uh, it will allow you to play any video inside it. <coughs> Like in this example, if you can see, I have just taken a linear layout. Below to that, I have a text view, and then inside the and the linear layout, I have a video view. So this video view is like somewhat playing this particular video, and it has several controls on top of it. If you can see, that is play, pause, next, and previous, etc., etc. Okay. Now let's go to our example, and let's see. This is the class. Okay, simply what is happening here is this is my layout file. This is my video view. Simply, I have taken it here. I have taken a simple text view. Below to that, I have said taken a simple video view, and then I want to play the same video inside this video view. What I am doing here is I am accessing. I am using a video view thing. I have declared a variable, uh, an instance and then I am trying to relate with its ID. I have a URI. URI is somewhat which gives you the path of your local storage. The local storage is what I have stored the particular video inside my raw folder. Okay, so raw folder has my local video stored inside it. Now I am giving its URI path inside the URI thing and then with the help of it I am getting the URI of it and then I am using a method which is set video URI. Set video URI always take a parameter as a URI type. So that's why I have converted the entire path into a URI that is user uniform, uniform resource identifier. It is also a class which allows you to give any path and to convert it into a unique resource identifier reference. After that I am putting video view dot set media controller and then here I am instantiating the media controller class which will allow me to use the controller like previous, next, pause, play these buttons. This class will allow me to use these options. It will populate these options and then finally I am starting the particular video and on pause of the activity I am finishing the video. That means if the activity comes to a pause state my video will get finished. Now let's run this simple example and see how does it work. This was also may take a little time because the same video we have uh, put inside the raw folder so video has also to be become as a part of the APK and then it has to go inside the application. Uh, so far if you do have any questions please do ask. I love to answer that. Always you can watch your status of your applications, how what is happening currently, how much installed, how much not installed in the uh, in the below window, this side. Now if you see cannot play video, sorry this video cannot be played. Uh, let's see if is there any problem with that why this dialog is appeared. 
So the best way to track these things is go to your DDMS and then track the particular stuff. Say this was unable to create the media player and was not able to play the particular video. Okay. Let's do it one thing. If I say okay, the video was not able to be played. Okay, no problem. Let's come here and uh, Let's try to run it back. And see if it if it comes like certain different Android versions have a, a certain different uh, set of properties or set of specification which works as in the background. So you might face few couple of uh, problems when, uh, when you face like in one of the version the thing is running fine and the other version it doesn't. Uh, the status I am getting here is it is says that we'll do install class in your device timeout. Okay. Sometimes emulator will become quite heavy because a lot of APKs are inside it. So those times you can delete a couple of them to free the memory to there so that other application can accommodate inside. Or just you can start I mean again try to run the same application. So if I try it. <laughs> 